Good evening, everybody. <gasps> Behind me, a little cat, look, having a wash. Hello, Yogi. Oh, he's just gone to sleep. Anyway, <laughs> it's not about my cat, it's about Ruby Hammer. Yay! I finally got Ruby on here. We had lunch last week and she agreed to do her 10 out of 10 live with me. And she's just so brilliant. Not only is she so experienced, she's been around the block, she's tried every product. She just gets great makeup. She gets how to make normal women <laughs> look good. She's done my makeup on a number of occasions and I'm always so happy. She, you're just you on your best day. She really gets hello, Ruby Hammer. She really gets, um, she really does. She's just the best. And I just love her take on new products. Um, she introduced me to, do you, do you get that? You did, hello. Hello, hello. Oh, now I'm confused, Nadine. Good evening, everyone. Do I come on from Ruby Hammer Beauty or do I come from Ruby Hammer? You come on from whatever you want. If you want to come on from Ruby Hammer Beauty and get my followers to go. Anyway, listen, everybody out there, follow Ruby Hammer and Ruby Hammer Beauty. Sorted. There you go. Oh, I love, I love, I love you. Oh. Can I just say I've just finished filming a YouTube video reviewing Monica Blunder, Jones Road Beauty and Rose Inc. And I don't know if any of those products are in your top 10, but we totally agree on that Jones they Road are, face pencil. They are, they are. Like, look, it was, first of all, I'm just thrilled with anything to do with Nadine. So hello, everybody, and all her, all her posse. I'm just, hello, sorry. I've got, I think... I've not got a runny nose, but it's something, I yeah. think I have allergies, like at this time of year that I'm not normally getting them and I'm, I just feel a bit... Do you know what it is? Some people have put the heating on and I think it liberates dust from the back of radiators, but also supposedly this time of year is spores in the air. I think this is what it is, it's spores, that's what it was. I was thinking, what is it? Because I'm not normally like this, I haven't got a cold, touch wood, I've not got COVID, what is this? So it, it's exactly that, what you're saying. Oh, But... Um, I have to say, I had a bit of a, not sleepless nights, but you think, how am I going to condense everything to 10 items? Because I've got, I've got lots and lots of favourites. And I can imagine also, I mean, I think I'm inundated with new products, but obviously I'm mainly about skincare. So for you, I know that everybody wants to win over Ruby Hammer. So you must get sent so much. That's why, and I know it's hard just to do your top 10, but for me, it was about what you loved personally. And when we had lunch last week, I love the fact that you, after we finished having lunch, we sort of <laughs> touched up our faces at the uh, table in the restaurant. And, and we both kind of grabbed similar things. And I just <laughs> thought, because I was saying in the intro that what I love about you is, yes, you're an amazing makeup artist. Yes, oh. you've done glossy magazine covers, everything, you know, you brand founder, everything but you get what real women want. And the way you did your face was just mesmerizing. It was like two or three products, bang, 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 and you were out. <laughs> well, the thing is, look, I'm the same as every other person, woman out there. We're all time poor. We're all juggling everything. Now, I don't have young kids, but I take my hat off to those that are out there. You're like me, um, Nadine, we're of a certain age. Uh, we are working women still. You have to sort of socialise a bit, stroke professional, personal. You always try and put a best, you know, make the most of yourself, but you're not paranoid if you don't. You know, I have no qualms with actually, I, I have to go to a meeting Monday morning because I couldn't get a cab. Every Uber cancelled on me, every free taxi cancelled on me. So normally those three minutes that they say they're coming is when I just quickly do my thing. <laughs> Right, right. But because I hadn't got a positive, there's no car coming. You're having to keep watching it. I ordered this one, that one. I'd have to cancel one. There's no time to put on a face. I went to my meeting with nothing on but really good skincare. I was clean. I smelt nice. You still go. So I've got no qualms about somebody seeing my bare face. But, no, neither have I. If yeah. anybody lives anywhere near me, they'll see me in my local Sainsbury's and Marks and Spencer's. I don't wear makeup at the weekend. It's like, I'm completely fine. It's like, I can't be bothered. But beach. what I loved about what yeah. you did out of your makeup artist was it was easy to apply, easy to use, 
you were almost doing it with your fingers. And I, I mean, obviously I think you're an amazing makeup artist. I've never looked better than when you make me up, but the oh, way good. you do the makeup was just brilliant. Let's, but, let's, start, let's dive straight in. Come on, if we don't get okay. to the chair, okay. we won't ruin For me, it for me, whatever, you, you are so kind and we do have similar, you know, things, whether it's a different skin color, different features, it doesn't matter. We like good things. We like things that function and we, if it's easy to do that, you adopt it. And you know what? It goes from a professional arena into your personal life. And I have to say, one of the first things is you start off with clean skin. So I'm going to haul up Bioderma, you know. <laughs> so that's the original missile award. This is the it? original, because this is the one I first got to know about from Paris. God knows you how were the first makeup artist I ever saw using that backstage at London Fashion Week. So I have a big one, but I have a small one in my kit that I decant or get fresher ones in all the time. So just when, even when you're really tired, you know, every person that sits in front of me, because I know that they're not going to react to this, even if they say, yes, I've done my skincare, I know. I just start off with a quick wipe of all of that and anything, you know, behind the ears, under the neck, I can catch a bit of self-tan, a bit of something that people may have missed. So that's in my personal kit for when I'm lazy. Even I, although I say to everyone, you've got to take off all your makeup. If I'm too lazy at night, I'll leave that, but I'll give it a good wipe everywhere else with that. Can I just say the interesting thing about Ruby and I is even though we do have fundamentally different skin colors, we're, I think Ruby's six months older than me, that's all. But we absolutely like the same style of makeup, which is minimum results, maximum effort, look polished and out the door. And that's why we love her. <laughs> Thank you. So on that note, again, this one, I know lots of people, you love it, I love it, is my other one. Which one is that? This is the CeraVe, the hydrating cleanser. Mm. I, love so that. I know that now that they're available in this country so i used to haul this back from america the drugstores it used to be about three dollars in those days you know i'm talking about 15 years ago and i have always always replenished big sizes small travel sizes whatever when it arrived here in the uk i was like beyond myself so love it what it's really good for as well is that first morning cleanse. If you've done everything the night before, I don't do another double oil heavy balm cleanse in the morning. There's no time for it. I have thin manky hair. If I get all oil in there, I'll have to wash it. I'll have to start again. I can't. So if I've done a scrupulous job the night before, this is fantastic. And do you know what I love about that as well is you can put that in the shower Martin can use it, who's your husband. It stays in. Rena can sh stay over. <laughs> she can use it. When Rena's baby is eventually born and it's a toddler, they can use it. The whole body. And I, you can actually use it all over your body if you've got sensitive skin as well. I just love it. Totally. That's what I'm saying. So somebody just asked, do you remove waterproof makeup too? No. What I do is I have, when I have eye makeup on, I use a specific eye makeup remover. And that could be from anybody, from Lancome, from Glossier, from Clarins. I remove my eye makeup with a separate cleanser. Then I do a balm if it's, you know, I've got heavy makeup on in the morning. It's just that, that goes. Yeah, because all you're removing is last night's skincare. So you've got I mean, if you've done a good job of cleansing your face the it, night before, that's you're, really why I'm just, saying, I'm saying you're almost just refreshing your skin, aren't sometimes you? Sometimes with water, sometimes without water. Yeah. Sometimes I just do that, and I literally just wet a flannel and just give it a wipe, and even that's enough. It's enough. Yeah. So, and then I know that they have a sort of a foaming one, a makeup removing one. All of those are all fab if that's what suits you. This is the one that is my go to fail proof. I agree. It's my favourite one and I've tried them all, but it's very interesting because I think you and I have, well, we're virtually the same age. We have virtually the same skin type, even if the tones are completely different. When you hang around with, so Jo is younger than me and before she had her baby, she had breakouts. She really loves the cream to foam cleanser because it's slightly more stripping. But that to me, I, I just, I love even it. When, even when I go on my Facebook group and people so just, occasionally say to me they don't like it, I love it. The foaming one, guess what? I have a little travel size of it. I take that away when I'm on holiday because
because you know when you've been on the beach all day or you've been out all day and you're a bit sweaty you've got some protection on and everything I find that that one just takes that refresh before the evening when I am going to put a bit of makeup on I am going to get ready because it's my vacation I've got nice clothes if I don't wear it then what am I going to do take it to the grave with me no so that cleanse I do use one that has a bit of a foaming one just just to to be a bit more active and just get in the pores and get rid of that some I agree completely I would say that one's better at getting rid of SPF and that sort of sweat that you build up when you're on just, holiday just, just, no, okay. especially like around your nose here around your chin yeah. here you know just a little bit of that and then done so yeah. and they're not expensive and it means People, I love luxury products, don't get me wrong. I get sent them, I buy them, I save the, for them, I beg, borrow and try whatever I can. So this is what I like. But within it, you have to have your staples. It's like having a really decent, good nude bra. One white bra, one black bra, one... Cotton pair of knickers. Cotton or something. You need that. This is what this is. And, that, and then I have play with all the others because... They give me joy, you know, I love it. Next stage I have, I will get to my moisturizer, but is this one. Oh, the right, Roche. okay. And this one, when you open it, I love the fact that, you know, when you take it out and you give it a little shake, you can hear that shake. There are some brilliant ones out there now. I really think there are some lovely. If you go on Cult Beauty and you just look at some of the sun protection, vegan ones, this one, they're all sort of, and I always wear SPF 50 because anything less doesn't do anything on me. And this doesn't leave that white mark. And I literally do my sun protection naked when I, before I'm dressed. I don't wait to come and then put this on and put that on, it doesn't work for me. I just do it when, when your hands are clean and I start on my chest, I just work it all in. Blah. By the time I'm wandering around, it's all sort of sunk in and I get dressed. So Do you know, it's really interesting. I saw there's somebody on Instagram here. Um, uh, his tag is actually Scamander. Um, I think his name is Julian and he tests SPS and he finds that that one leaves a white cast on his face, but he is considerably darker than you. So it's very interesting uh -huh. that you find that you can get away with it. Because obviously I, I don't have that problem with it. Different yes. ones. And this one is the invisible blend. So they yes. have some of this that has, uh, you know, they have some that has a bit of... A cast. Yes. But this invisible one, I love. Okay. And then I've got to say, there are, there are some others out there and there's some brilliant ones now. Thank God, because people have realised that we, are, we need that protection, not just in the summer months, not just when you're on the beach. You need it every single day something so that that's the only way you're going to stave off the ageing process. Not that it's anything horrible, but when we're going to take care of it, make the most of ourselves. You need Very that. interesting. Somebody said earlier on, Ruby is ageless. And trust me, <laughs> she looks better in real life. She's truly oh, ageless. Oh, uh, would you say that pigmentation, because obviously you have a different skin tone have, to me, is, is pigmentation your main bugbear about getting older? For, for some people. For some people, they don't have pigmentation. And, you know, wrinkles. Well, what about you? For me... You know, look, I have lines. I have a few wrinkles. I have lost volume in my face. If you compare, even if you look at old pictures of me and old pictures in my personal life, whatever, I've, the horrible thing for me and the good thing for me is my journey has been documented, hasn't it? There'll be somebody who will hold out a picture from 1997, a Ruby and Millie one, and there you are. I looked like that then. I don't look like that now. I've, I, I have gone with the process i've gone with the journey so all of that is documented but i the wrinkles the line the loss of volume every so often when we when we have a downer day you look at that and you think oh, nothing's the same oh this is awful and you know you have a ostrich moment you dig down there and you feel a bit blue and then i sort of just knock myself out of it the next day have a good sleep or just just think the next day is going to be fine so i don't dwell on it but pigmentation, because it's so visible, that is my bear bug. So now I've spoken to Deja, you know, I went to actually see yeah. her, and I have to introduce um, 
retinoids or some something like that and i never really did it in a, in a you not use a retinol at night i i haven't really used you know so she said oh my god can i just say everybody i'm sorry i'm going to interrupt ruby at this point and can i just say this is good genes i'm sorry ruby tell everybody how old you are next birthday and i'll tell everybody how old i am next birthday well we are now in october on december the 10th i'm going to be 60 years old <laughs> and july next year i'm going to be 60 year old people but I throw everything at this face. You are amazing. So you don't use retinol, don't use vitamin C? I use vitamin C. I do use vitamin C and I use hyaluronic acid, serums, acid peels. I scrub, I have facials. I know you're not a big fan of facials, but I am a big fan of facials because I can, I just love that massage and that bit when they get around to your neck and all that. So I just, it just floats me off. So I love that. And if I'm paying attention, sometimes I can see what they're doing with their hands. And then I think, oh, I'll try that on somebody when I'm doing their moisturization, pre-makeup prep. So can I ask why never retinol then? I don't know why, because I think I've always thought, is it going to make my marks worse? But actually they make them better. It is fantastic. She's told me the right ones to use and I am starting to use them. Which one is she gonna get you using? They, they are all these professional ones. I, you see, I don't even know them well enough. They're, they're ones that you know, that they're upstairs. I'll tag Deja underneath and she, you know, they are tell fantastic. you which ones. I'm starting because I'm listen, I go to an expert and I listen from an expert about what I need. You know, I don't just make it up in my head. I can't but, believe you've, I've used retinol for the last like 20 years. And then the only other thing I have done is before lockdown or just for me three years or something I had Profilo yeah. so I had that so I, I didn't know whether I didn't need you know that that was for the plumping. What did you think? Well I think it works it works on me because I'm so I'd be like that you know I'd, there'd be no natural collagen or elasticity in my skin because I am at the tail end of my menopause as well so all of that floats out your body and you don't want to put bad fats in your body to keep this looking buoyant. So that I find, you know, other than that first five hours when you look like a bit of a, you look like a crater person, because I do get out, he, he does five injections here. And when yeah. I look, I just literally come out of his office and I get in a cab and I come home <laughs> because they, they really do swell up on me. But they go down really quickly, right? They do go down, they do go For down. For those that don't know, Profilo is injectable, um, very 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 liquid hyaluronic acid so it's almost like a, it doesn't change the sh shape of your face like a filler it's almost like an injectable moisturizer that lasts for exactly. up to three months it's not even filler really because i have never done fillers no it's not really filler. I've done botox years ago when i was getting divorced and i was all like Ugh, like that and then you know he did it he does it on my chin anyway if he ever does it for me he does it on my chin because that's where i'm all saggy bad you do that yeah all the lines. Mm -hmm. It's really funny because the most common place to have Botox is in here, which is because people frown. And I don't frown. I have it above my eyebrows to stop me raising my eyebrows because I get those right. like, scowly lines. So I here. frown a little bit because, look, you can see. But but yeah. I don't, I'm not a big computer person. It's only in the last three years I'm like looking at my phone and doing that. But like my daughter has this frown and I told her, she's 35. And I said, Rena, just get a mini nanny tweak yeah. just on that. And she said, I can't believe it. You're my mum and you're telling me this. Not now that she's pregnant, obviously, but before I said, if you're ever going to do anything, I would say, get that tweaked. Because I don't have that. Even I, I do have it. But, it's but you have to really to, concentrate yeah, to do to it, really don't really you? Know? It's not my natural. I get like that when I'm angry or when I give somebody the dirty eye, you get that. But it's not so much here on me. It's on here. Yeah. It's my chin. He said, you're going to look like a... Who's you know, he? Dr. Nabe, that's who I... So you go to Jules Nabe, do you? Yes, and I, I have gone to him for years, and I send people to him, I think, so there's that. Uh, I'm on number three. Number four, I love a good moisturiser. So whatever, whether it's a vitamin C serums, whether we're testing things to try, anything like that. But I have to say, I used to buy this before I ever got sent it. And even sometimes, you know, they're out of stock sometimes. So it's the Augustine Bader. And I use 
The rich cream. I bet you like the rich one. The other one's almost like a serum, isn't it? But you know, that one I use in my kit. So okay. when I do red carpet or somebody's a bit more mature skinned or I can feel her skin is a bit, that I've, there's no rush to get her makeup on, you know, like she's going to get her yeah. hair done or whatever, then I'll really use that. Gets it to sink in without making the makeup slide off. But for me personally, the rich cream, and it has helped with a bit of, the pigmentation when I've been diligent. So there are there have been times where you know when you're doing things maybe as a paid collaboration and I think well I've got to give it I've got to go through the steps with it and I have to go off this for a month and try that one for a month and then actually say what I feel and I've regretted it. I look at that and I think there's nothing wrong with this new cream but I'm gonna to have to go back to that. Yeah. And so the one you go back to is always the Augustinus Bader Rich. It, that one now, and now he's expanded it because at the beginning it was only the cream or the rich cream. And the serum. Rich, there was rich and light. What's he got now? He has got eye creams, he's got an essence, he's got a face oil, body oil, body cream. There's all kinds of stuff coming. And in a funny way, all the other big brands, that's what they do. You know, like look at Creme de la Mer, started off with one product that it's the modern creme de la mer that's exactly and then what the you, spader is you look at the the technology they look at that and they think oh maybe this would be useful for this and for that and eventually he might even put it in a bit of makeup hey hey you know what do you like about it in particular are there particular actives that you like I it that, that you just look it. for doesn't smell a lot i literally do two pumps in my hand i warm it up and I start here and I go up, you know, I do this and then I do that. And then I just rub it all in and get it all behind my ears done. And if it's particularly dry, I'll just do another pump just on my chest. And do you do that under your SPF? I do that under my SPF first, first bit of when it's clean skin and, you know, I'm going to have. So, you, just, so you don't put a serum underneath? I do, I do put a serum, different ones that I'm trying. So okay. it's, it's up to you, whatever. Like sometimes mm -hmm. if I'm working and I know I'm going to be in a studio all day long, I don't put an SPF. That day, my Augustina's beta is the only thing I do. But if I'm going to be out, then I make sure I wake up a little bit earlier, 10 minutes earlier, so that I can put my serum, put my cream on, put my SPF on, and then I'm at that door. Somebody did ask if there is a particular uh, vitamin C that you love. Have any sprung to mind that There's you particularly loads like? Of, uh, the ones I've tried and I love. I love the ones from John Elephant. I love um, Oleg Heinrichsen. I love um, Murad. I love... Um, does Elemis have a one? I must have tried one ages ago. Mm, not really, no. I mean, the thing is that... The, if you like the drunk elephant one, you'll love the skin suitable sea ferulic and the timeless I love ones. The skin suitable ones. And, and then one Dr. Other... Dennis Gross has got a ferulic vitamin C as well. You know, so there are these skin suitable ones. So so I just chop and change and I grab yeah. one and sometimes they're a bit tacky, sometimes they're not so tacky, sometimes you know it's it just goes in smooth and oh, uh um, Environ, I love their one too. It's not it's a sort of more vitamin A derivative, but I I'll, I'll patch that on every so often. So th those things are things that are in flux. Yeah. And I, I, I like that. I know exactly what you mean. Do you but know it's what interesting I mean? that when you come back to it, the one you always come back to is Augustinus Beja, the rich brain. When I've had a bit too much, is had a bit too much activity, I just go back to that and my skin likes it. So yeah. I go to that. Okay. Then we're going to jump to my hair. So all over the years and now there's a journey about thinning hair is it female pattern board what this that and the other end of menopause but from when i first discovered it is philip kingsley's elasticizer and to be honest in my shower in the big one i've got the giant one yeah. <laughs> i've got the huge one i couldn't drag it down here and you know you might have a few line scale <laughs> marks on it so I thought I'm not going to be be rude to Philip Kingsley's you know the brand so I just bought a good one but I love this size as well that I take on holiday so they have different smell like this one is a coconut breeze so there's a normal one which is the big one that I have but every so often they do these other ones limited that, edition ones yeah that yeah, smell nice and, and maybe not limited they're in there now they've got this mango one they've got this one they've got 
lychee, you know, all this lovely one that allows you, it just conditions my hair. And people talk about the shine of it. I mean, I need to go and get them colored again. But in between, if I can't manage to quite go see the colorist, just having that five minutes before in the shower. How do you use it? Explain to everybody, because it's quite okay. so unique I'm, in the way you use it. I use it when my hair is dirty. So it's the first step. I literally semi-wet it. I don't dunk the hair wet, drench it. I don't drench it. I just make sure that it is sort of damp and use bits of it. And I, and I sort of section it. So I start from the underneath, top, front, side. I get a bit fizzy here. So I do a bit more there and then strip it all the way down to the ends. It doesn't take a lot, but I'm generous with it. I'm very generous with it. And then I just get one of those, I've got a cotton toweling thing. I just bung it up there. And then I'll exfoliate my body or I'll exfoliate my face or I'll, you know, do the elbows, knees, shave my legs, underarms, whatever needs doing, all that kind of rubbish. So that it's on there for at least five to 10 minutes safely. Rinse it out, shampoo and very lightly condition. Okay. Because that's, uh, that's exactly how you're supposed to use it. You're supposed to ideally leave it on for 20 minutes. And the reason I ask you, Ruby, is because when you were going through your list of things, I'm like, when I'm in the shower and I've got it on, I'm like, oh God, what am I going to do now? I've done the armpits, I've done yes. the cleaning line, I've done yeah. the all of that. My I feet. it for those days where you know you, you can't, if you go quickly, I really hack my shins to death. Yes. So I, <laughs> I know, I can't. Every woman watching up. knows bleeding you know you look like I've killed someone in the shower so I just do those things I've got to exfoliate I've got to shave I'm going to scrub up here I'm going to do a bit of dry brushing you know all these things that add a minute two minutes three minutes and then if I'm on holiday then I will just stick it on and then I can snorkel with it on yes. I keep it on for it doesn't matter I pull it up high and I leave that all day long and it's fine. But if I do that for like an hour long, it, my hair will be... Look at this. Look, Cavapoo Milo said, stick a shower cap on and do your household chores. I like your style. <laughs> I, like, I, I like that, but it's, it, my, it would be too heavy on my hair if I did that, leave it on for an hour or so. Funnily enough, the next question underneath is, Ruby, your hair was, was your hair thick before the menopause? I have Indian hair and my hairdresser disagrees that it's thinning, but she obviously disagrees with her hairdresser. Tell, yeah. Talk us through your hair journey, because your so hair is, my, I mean, generally, let's be honest here, you are yeah. genetically blessed in the beauty department, but your hair is your sort of... So, so my mother, God bless her, did not have this lush Indian hair, you know, her Indian South Asian heritage. I always had very nice hair. Don't get me wrong. It was always, I am paranoid about split ends, cutting it. I've only really started coloring now. It must be five years. Oh, you know. so lucky. I started going gray. It went gray when my mum died, which was 10 years ago. That's when I first got a bit of gray, but I've only really colored it. On a, on, a, on a daily, not daily, on a um, regular basis, yeah. probably five years. And even then I don't go as often as I should. I really should. So, and with the, so with age and with menopause and the different stresses in life, you know, when I had my divorce or when I lost my parents, yes, I, I've lost my hair, but they come back because some other ones, it could be nutrients or you're anemic or you could be some of those in your life, but it was never that with me. But now I realize, yes, when you look at my hair, like, look, if I do that for you, look, there's big gaps. Mm -hmm. You can see through it. That's definitely. Thin. And what do, have you, have you been to Philip, have you been to I've Annabelle Kingsley? I've been to them and I, and you know, I take my supplements. I take, um, I wear a, it's called Cell Return Alpha Hair Ray. You know, it's an LED light helmet thing, like a bike helmet thing that I got from Lily Earl, Liz Earl's daughter. You know, it's expensive, but I put that on and 20 minutes every day. Most days I try. I'm doing everything I can without having to just take minoxidil because I know once you do that, you cannot stop. So I'm staving off massage, oil, this, that. What does Annabelle say? Have you been to see Annabelle? Because you know that she's helped so you many know, people. You know, Annabelle did a virtual 
uh, consultation when she was just Pregnant. before maternity leave yeah. and it was the first lockdown and it's my bag that I haven't gone back you yeah. must you must go back because a shout out here to two people, Lorna Lux and Emma Gunner, Emma Guns, Emma Gunner yeah. Wardner. And she has helped them so much. I hadn't seen Emma for about nine months in lockdown. Yes. I was so impressed by her hairy growth, but she is on minoxidil extra strength. And so is um Lorna Lux. Yes. So it's it's kind of I don't know why. Eventually, I'm probably going to have to do it. I'm just staving it off because I know that will make a difference. But so far, that's what I do. So it's not like I don't want a booth on big hair. I just want that. It's you, listen, I, what we all want when people will say to people, do you want to look younger or anything? You just want what you used to have, don't you? People are telling me I'm blurry, which is really weird. I have no idea you, why I'm blurry. You went through a phase and, and then now you've gone back again. Oh, it must be my must be my Wi-Fi. Right, on to the next one. It's an evening. Everyone, you know, now they put it on. It dips in and out. What can you do? I know. So that's my. Have I got through five items yet? Yes, I have. So that's my five. You can go over ten, Ruby. You're in a safe <laughs> space here. Then I'm just gonna say something because if I don't, I'm gonna like I'm never gonna get it. So that's why I'm I'm getting in there. One of my favourite brands of all time has been Aromatherapy Associates. I love their Rose Body Renew Shower Gel, Shower Body Cream that used to be like my perfume. At the moment, I, I have always loved their deep, relaxed bath oil, you know, because when you've got those moments in life, whether it's a roll on, whether it's a pour in the bath, whatever it is, at some shape or form, I've had them in my home and in my kit and in my life. The other thing is over sitting right over there is the new ceramic, you know, the it's a, it use yes, which I love. So they're getting a shout out. They know I love their products. I always have done. But the one I'm going to haul up now is this one, which is the Geraldine, the, la the founder's perfume. Last one. She they only did one. They had a limited edition. And it's got like 28 essential oils. And I bought about six or eight. And I've since bought some more. So I've probably got about two or three left in my stock somewhere. I adore this. Every time I do wear this, somebody comes and gives me a hug, they'll ask me. So this is my begging, again, Anna Teal, at the head of <laughs> aromatherapy. Are you watching Anna Teal? <laughs> You're going to have to make this, please, please. Have they discontinued it? You can get it. I, I Last time I, I mentioned it, somebody said you can still get it in the, is it the perfume? No, the perfume shop. Is it called oh. the perfume so they have a few bottles of this, but I'm I'm almost scared to give it a shout out because I think people are going to go and buy it and then I won't have any. But what I really want is their own therapy associates to do it, do it once a year even, and I'll stock up. <laughs> but I really want them. Also, I, what I love about it is if you ever met Geraldine or you were ever treated by Geraldine, it's just that way of saying it's a, it's a nod and an honour to a founder that was truly groundbreaking. Yeah, she was amazing, ahead of her time, all of that. So the perfume shop, they've got a few, but it was a limited edition. This was only, they only made about 2,000 bottles. And I it's have... A, uh, Leanne is saying the perfume shop had a few, but it was limited edition. There you go. So, you know... And um, Sometimes they had it in America, you know, on the, on the aromatherapy. So, but now I don't know where you would find it. So that's my plea to them to say please reconsider and get that because that's i'm going to tag them don't yeah. you worry yeah that, that that's it then we're going to get to cosmetics you know what i what i love and to be honest i don't know if it's cheeky but i am being cheeky you're going to get yours it's coming to you but i i it, would like your new brush thank you very much did you get it no, I, I haven't got it. I, I'm looking out for it. <laughs> it's coming, coming because I guess they're doing it from PR. So they're sending it all with the, with the group handout. And anyway, so it comes in a little box like that. Yeah. It opens like this. You come out. It's got this little thing on it. It's got a little velvet pouch like that. 
and you take it out and it's like this. And you've probably seen me on Instagram a little bit, little hairs, they're, they're the best quality, but synthetic hairs and it's weighted. So I, I am walking the talk now. So I've had this, my inspiration was a Nicole Fahey brush. She's a designer in the mm -hmm. age, and I don't know if her brand exists anymore, but she, you know, it was, a, it was a fashion brand and it had sort of perfume and a few lifestyle bits and pieces, but she everybody had, wanted to wear Nicole Fahey in the nineties. In in, and we did wear them, you know, she was a very stylish woman and amazing brand. It was fantastic. So, Anyway, I bought this. It was a neon orange thing, and I've kept that for like 35 years. And using that as an inspiration, and over the years, I've now become a bit more accomplished, so I know what I want and the shape of it. I've altered it, played with it. I love it. So it's fantastic for powder. So I'm going to use my, look, my By Terry Hyaluronic. You just do that, and you can take away. So you... And what do you call it? You call it Ruby Hammer Beauty. Do you call it I powder blush? It brush? Face, brush? It's face brush because face it's brush. for any area of your face. So loose powder, pressed powder, it does that. It's really soft under the eyes as well. You know, there's no drag. I wanted that. Then one of my favorites, which is part of my, I'm going to call it, it's not one item, but I love a cream blush so over the years i've used them from bobby brown my chocolate cherry discontinued so i have to find something else then i had one from kevin or corners like a pink one then there's like gucci uh, uh atelier yeah. poppet then there is cheaper ones from people like honest beauty or fenty or whatever so a cream blush i love and at the moment i am loving this one is from beauty pie Okay, what colour is it, darling? This colour is French raspberry. Is it one of the ones that Hannah Martin created? I don't know if it was one. I think, she, I don't know if she did a whole section of them, but this is not a discontinued one, so they've still got it. So it's not a limited edition one. And I love it in that I can use, see, I've used a powder. I'm just dusting it off. Dip in there. My Same brush. brush, yeah. I smile and I literally... That's what I've got on earlier. One of my, one of those lovely followers, Karen, just said, Nick Alfari now works as a sculptor. Wow, well, she was a, she's an incredibly talented, wonderful woman. So look, that's what I- Yeah, like. really nice. And I'm using my own brush and that's what I had on. So you can use cream. So it doesn't matter what the brand is, this brush will work with that. Then, if you are a contour girl, now I use contour when I'm working on someone, but I don't really use contour myself because I, I don't want to narrow my nose. I do put eyeshadow. I don't really have a big face. Well, so you said earlier on, like me, like, I don't know. I think your face was quite large when you were younger and so was mine. It was, I, I it didn't was volume. Like, it was just fuller. Yeah, now, I didn't like my big face when I was younger. But now I've lost my volume here, just like you were saying, you yeah. had. Yeah. I don't like the sag, but I quite like having sculpted, naturally yeah. sculpted face. So we're not then going to go and apply a load of contour, but for, for my customers and for my clients, I do need to do contour. So you can, it's got enough firmness to control, to do the three, to do under the jaw, to yank it, you know, like all of that, yeah. you can you can all of that you can do it and then if you've got highlighter which is the other reason you don't want to go and reach for another brush when you tilt it and you take a tiny bit of it say it's a creamy liquidy one mm -hmm. you take a little bit of it from your hand and on a tilt so you tilt the brush and you literally dab on there or lightly dab on there it will just give you that glass like so all of this, the weight of it is about control. Yeah. So slap it on, powder, be gentle near the eyes. Contour, it's firm enough. The actual hairs are firm enough to, to contour when you want to chisel something. But it's gossamer light when you want to buff and blend cream like that without leaving stripes. And 
when you tilt it so it's just the ends of the hair to literally caress tenderly whisper i'll be curious when you get yours what you think and you tell me honestly because that's what i like hearing from you and people like yourself just you we know you'll always get honesty from me let's that, be honest can what... i just say uh rosie gibbons just said i've still got one of your ruby and millie blushes oh my god eyeshadow is fine because it's powder but i have people that also say they've got cream things or lip glosses and i'm like that is 20 years old <laughs> putting that on your face and I don't want to be held responsible <laughs> how do you clean your brushes good question I, I love um, either a solid cleaner you know or a liquid one from beauty blender or a spray from you know um, what are they there, there's so many out there now again before COVID everyone's interested so I literally have one of those little silicone pads I pump brush cleaner, liquid into there. Run this under warm water, because it's like washing hair. You want to get the pigments, yeah. you want the color out. Cold water is not gonna wash, and boiling hot water will ruin the hair. So warm water, dip in there, and then I literally go round and round in that silicone scrub. And you can Where do you get your silicone thing from, your brush cleaner? There's, there's so many. There's some from Beauty Blender, there's from Real Techniques, there's, if you actually, uh, Google it, you'll find tons of them. I use I use one from they call Anisa Beauty. So yes. that small hand one that I take away with me. So just a little hand size one. And I'm trying to look to see if I can get a small size to do my magnetic brushes and all that. So you literally do that, ring and you'll see it runs clean. Lots of running warm water, and then you just squeeze the excess out, reshape it, and I lay it flat. Never upright, because it will just, the yeah. water will disseminate and ruin your brushes. Flat and air dry them. And then the next morning you kind of reshape them back and they're fine. Good question. How often do you clean it? I clean my personal ones and I'm anal. So I, if, I, if I've ruined something today and I need that brush, I'll go and do it tonight. So that okay. it's like tomorrow. But my personal brushes, once a week, my kit after every single yes. week. Every there week. isn't, there is not a makeup artist, professional makeup artist alive who does not clean their brushes between every single client. Even I, I have to say, I would aim for once a week. Mine's probably near once a month though. Yeah, no, because you probably, you're only using little bits of it. It just, the thing about it is, there is always a, reg a residue left on your brush. So if it's not cleaned professionally, you're giving another shade of color and you don't know what you're recommending. When it's you- You're so right. Yeah. When it's you yourself, you know it's that one and you know, oh, oh that's a bit heavy handed, all right. You can buff it away, you can do it. So even myself, I'm less, um, you know, like regimented about it because it's my own personal brushes and I keep them in there that's fine but once a week i will do that sponges my beauty blender the powder puffs anything like that just once over because it just gets all the bacteria and all the rubbish out and you're absolutely right how much is the brush uh ruby the new face brush this one is 34 pounds okay all right don't worry i'll credit it below so you know where you go now Thank ruby, you. Joined us. ruby has joined us from the ruby hammer beauty account okay but i will credit her for ruby hammer as well because this is her products and then ruby hammer is all of her creative work as well exactly exactly so um and that was a beauty pie but the beauty, beauty pie, pie blusher raspberry yes. so then raspberry. then we come to what you had in your bag and what you mentioned right at the beginning of the live which is the jones road monica blunder and what was the third one you said Rose Ink, you're going to love those cream blushes. I have already got. That's the other cream blush I've got, and I haven't even tried it. It's okay. Azalea is the colour. This is what somebody asked me what colour I've got on. I've got uh, Rose Ink Azalea. It's the one that you can see on all the feeds. It looks really, really deep so, raspberry it, red, but it's fab. I don't know if I've got. If you give me one second. I'm Go gonna... on. Go on. Um, so the, the product that Ro Ruby's about to speak about, about is the Jones Road Face Pencil. Yes, well, it's the it's one. Yeah, that's the one. And it's the one that J Ruby was using 
at 180 after we had lunch and she literally took this pencil and went bang 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 bang, bang <laughs> brushed it out and i had i hadn't tried mine and in sunday's video on youtube this entire face is monica blunder and jones road and Thank you. rose ink my rosy ink one is actually dahlia ah oh. And I bought the refill bit because I've got so many bits and they didn't, they'd run out. I went to space and Don't you love the fact, though, that she, yes. out of all those brands, right? So this is Monica Blunder, Bobby Brown. Hers is the only one that's refillable. So, well, this is where, you know, you have to give kudos to the girl. She's a very smart, lovely girl. I love Rosie. Oh, she's such so, a nice woman. Um, my Jones Road. So they're what I'm hauling up. So what I, colour are you in the Jones Road? I am, I am 18 and 19. So 18 goes in that inner corner here, here. If I get an eczema patch there, all around. Sometimes you see this. I don't know if it's a freckle or some damage that, you know, when it looks nice, I don't care. But if I really wanted to hide it, I would put the 18 on there. And then the 19 is for two bits. This tear duck right here, because I'm a contact lens wearer over the years, and you know, the saline, it just, you get a darker patch there. So that has a bit of red in it to take, you know, like it does a bit of correction and concealing at the one same time. And this is for my pigmentation bits. So, Do you know what? On Sunday, in Sunday's main YouTube video, I literally talk about you using these sticks and how you just made me get off my lazy backside and go, right, I'm going to review these products. Now, this is my problem with them, right, is they're quite firm. for a, So I like them as a concealer, but I can't technically imagine using them all over my face as a foundation. Well, she recommends Bobby Brown, she, <laughs> the cat's mother, she is a genius makeup artist. She recommends you can do your full face. And I have done, but you know what? I don't normally like a big full face in real life. So these, I just go a bit wider. A bit Where you need it. And buff yeah. it out what I do. And that's, that's how I think they're formulated the to face. be used. Yeah, I can't imagine using them the way you would use I, the Monica I don't Blunder, think Blunder you're cup. going to, or... It is still a pencil and you're going to have to keep sharpening it. You will, there will be a lot of waste. But I love, out of that, I was hard push. Like, do I use my Laura Mercier, you know, secret, con secret camouflage, my NARS radiant creamy ones? What do I actually put in front of Nadine? And I thought, let's use the latest one that actually is in my bag. I do haul it out. Works for me. And the, the shade that I've got, I've used just as a concealer. So I've used it around my nose on redness and round right. here. And the rest of my face is the Monica Blunder one. And I will find out what shade I am. And I will tell you because I can't remember. I've taken it upstairs. It what is, did you think of the Monica Blunder? I, well, I got sent it, okay, in the beginning from the PR. And I was a judge at Stella Beauty Awards. Beauty Awards. And actually, my my vote went to that so they have won in that in that category they they won that so I am really chuffed because it was really funny I was chatting with Mary Greenwell and Mary was thinking what is this Monica Blunder is she is it trying to be like that Chanel bronzer thing she did I don't quite like it and I was just saying Mary it's not as fluffy mousse like as the Chanel one this is meant to be a concealer full foundation you can use the darker shade to contour as a cream contour. And in fact, you can do the same with these Jones Road one. If you like to con contour and you don't want to do a big thing, you could just get a darker shade of the pencil and you can do the marks. Fantastic. You know, the, the, the interesting thing about the Monica Blunder is, is it's not my natural go-to texture for a base. I prefer a, a light scared. cream that I put all over. But it's the closest I've found to the original Bobby Brown iconic sticks. And I think that's what, that's the similar texture. It's almost like the original Bobby Brown sticks, but in a pot. In a pot. Um, did, With... did, you, did you find a colour that suited you? Because I don't think there's enough shades for the there blonder colour. There are 14 shades. And I think mm -hmm. she's literally just started. So she probably yeah. will do more. But there is a yeah. good, there's a nice range. There's a bracket range. So I think that it's been so successful and well-received. I'm sure Monica will be on it and she will, yeah. she will 
invest and get investment and she will she'll expand that's but exactly what i said in my video and also can i just say and i'll say the same thing about the brush that comes with the rosie huntington whiteley blusher the brush that comes with the monica blunder is brilliant for makeup artists because you use tiny brushes to gently yeah. blend in but i want a massive great big idiot pro <laughs> I want something really quick and easy to use, so I used my normal foundation brush to blend she, it. Out. I think I think she's started with that product, and you'll find. And I remember I had to do something for Colgate, and we had ten, you know, real life women plus the photographer and Charlie Howard as my model. And on everybody, I used that Monica blend cover, and yeah. my assistant used it, and everyone that used it, they went, "What's this?" And then they saw that you can thin it down yeah. or you can pack it on. You could literally, it was multi-purpose. And you know what? You don't like the small brush? Get yourself a good big kabuki one and go for it. You know, That's you exactly, use exactly what I did. Exactly what I did. So, I was laughing because I was saying, I was speaking to her like through my YouTube video that goes up on Sunday. Yeah. And I said, Monica, this is an eyeshadow brush. <laughs> But then I remembered every time a professional makeup artist does my makeup, they use tiny brushes. They're about precision and artistry. It's just the control. And then yeah. that way, if you just need it down there, we're not then putting it all over there. Yeah. You know, yeah. you have a tiny patch there. Well, we want to just grab that patch and why go all over the, you know, halfway down your head. <laughs> I, so, said some, I said something like, Monica, just make a big brush and call it the blunder doofus brush. And I'm the doofus. <laughs> <laughs> and you know that's a great one and i'm i really i think i agree all the jones road this is my favorite a hundred percent that's the best product I love and i so, think it's it's the one that's most unique and different and flexible and i i think actually that comes in a good range of shades as well I, there's about 25 shades there is yeah with enough variation you know like she's the queen of color and undertone and looking at is it a neutral? Is it a yellow? Is it a pinky? Is it a this? Is it? So within it, she's done it. And I think Monica Blunder will probably get onto that. I agree completely. I mean, it's obvious that Monica has much less investment, but I think in an ideal world, Monica would well, have she's 40. Just started. She's just she would have 40 shades, the way that Bobby will end up doing it. And to the person that said earlier on, yes, my big bugbear with Bobby Brown is that it's, she's marketing it as clean and it drives me mad because there is no such thing as clean beauty. Well, um, it's it's kind of one of my things where, because I'm I I'm not such a severe activist kind of woman, but I do say it as it is, and you're the same kind of woman. Is that nothing in this planet is that clean? Okay, so people, as we are made of bacteria ourselves, our cells, our things. So how clean are you going to be? You know, wash out your blood and your plastic. Also, also, can I just say, yes. the, the thing I, I, the problem I've got with Bobby using the term clean is, is she shading her original brand? So is her original brand unclean? No, I think it's, it's a marketing tool. I, I think of that, I don't get very upset by it. I just think, hmm, I go, you know, I, I kind of think, hmm, I, I make a face and people know, okay, that's what she means. Yeah. It's just... It is a marketing tool at the moment. Yeah. Let's not get out. You know, when people go vegan or this or clean, there's no standardized global. Well, there is the vegan, right? It, technically, well, but I mean, well, even cruelty-free is doing properly it, regulated like, for everything. Then you you can say this is organic or this is cruelty-free or this is vegan or this is that and this is clean. Good luck with the clean. <laughs> Yeah, good luck with clean. <laughs> That's all I mean. I say, so I won't get into that fight. I just think, okay, if you if if you're gonna use that, then be prepared to hear what's gonna come back. Somebody's saying vegan isn't regulated 100% either. People, they say things, but there's no uniform global everybody. So whether you're in Japan or you're in America or you're in France or in the UK, to say that is what is a standardized vegan criteria there isn't yeah there yeah isn't. my main problem is with clean without a doubt because i just it just it somehow shading the rest of the industry and when you've made your millions from but selling what you would technically think of as now a dirty brand it's a bit that's what i've just said sometimes it's also the formula might be cleaner 
but the rest of it isn't. So if the product, you know, the recycling things, the sustainability of it, the reusable, which, which one are you saying? Is it the clean formula? Because a lot of the formulas are cleaner. I'm doing this. Or yes. then you look I always do that. I do that. But the rest of it is not. So which stance are you taking? I said the same in my video as well. I just said basically at the end of the day, rather than call it clean, why not just make it refillable, which would really help. All of that would have to be more and more is going to have to be addressed because it's either, is it reusable? It's not just, yeah. is it plastic and recycle? You know, it's, it's reusable, refillable, sustainable, re whatever, every criteria. And, you know, we don't all have, we don't live in utopia. So everyone's budgeting yeah. doing things. It costs, it's, 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 it's another mind. It deserves another live that said can i just say supposedly beauty blunder cover is vegan which is brilliant um and i have to say honestly hand on heart look at my face i really love the jones road sticks and the monica the monica blunder beauty blunder cover I love I, thank you because you know what i feel good because after that when I said it to Mary, and Mary must have played with it a bit more, you know, she's played with it. And then she did a very nice um, masterclass with Sonia, and she used the Monica Blundell there. So I thought, oh, okay. So it is, and you know, I have so much- Ruby Hammer, influencer. Well, it's not that. All it is, is, is honest dialogue. Yeah. And you know, and she, She's such a genius artist. So she, she picked up on it and she did her masterclass yeah. with it. So I, I thought, okay, every product has its pros and cons, its limitations, and you have to find a way of working with it. Or some people, it's not going to work for you. But I'm glad she endorsed it and she liked it. And um, I think I like the Monica one and I wish her, I, I want her to go far with it. This is the interesting thing, is I, is I said at the end of my video, like you've got... Rosie Huntington Whiteley, you've got Bobby Brown, and you've got Monica Blunder, all power to them. There should be more female brand founders within the beauty industry. May they all succeed. That's what I think. My last item, because I feel that whatever we do, like the cream blush for me and, and some sort of concealer is my go-to now. Um, nothing gets finished if you don't do a bit of mascara. So I'm hauling up this is my clinique lash power mascara and it's one of those tubular ones or i don't know what we call them now yeah, what's right ones tubing um, mascara i love this little brush on it you can see and i've actually got it on today i love the fact that you can just wash it off with a bit of warm water. And is this because you're a contact lens wearer with quite it's sensitive not, eyes? I was never have particularly sensitive eyes that way. It wasn't that, but I just love that this shape suits the lashes of my eyes. You know, like it literally gets, defines it. I don't like crispy, crunchy lashes, personally. I can, I have about 10 mascaras in my kit because want to grab this want to do that want to build volume whatever you know but this i find i can do my lower lashes upper lashes two to three coats really lovely i can have it in a hot climate i can have it in a wet climate when it's raining here i can so this one because that's the advantage of a tubing mascara I go back to this again and again that's not saying i don't have other ones i do when i want more volume or that fake lash effect or whatever but Add a push without anything. If I just put this on, I'm going to look great. So I love that. Now, before, before we finish, I have to say, if you go onto my original grid and you look in the highlights, the last time I worked with Ruby and she did my makeup, I went through her makeup bag and got all of her best buys out. And it's a little highlight and it just says Ruby's must-haves or something like that. Do you know that they've discontinued that amazing Clarins lip rep? Oh my gosh, what the, the little white one that, we, oh my God. Cause I remember that and I was so grateful to you because you put everything on there and I swear by that, not just for you, for other people. It you had soap brows, you had uh, a, a per, the, and I've used it ever since, the perfect taupe eyeshadow to knock back heavy hooded eyes. This lip prep from Clarins 
just filled in all the fine lines. And I mean, Mac have got a prep and prime one that's quite similar. They do. It, it's, it's in a stick form. Yeah. Sh and so it, thank you, Sheeny. It's Clinique Lash Power. And I have used the Choice Your Rat one. I love it. But I don't know if it's a, if it's a water, you know, if it's a tubing. Wash, tubing mascara. It's very fine little brush, but the only thing that stops it is it's horrendously expensive for the sizes. It's, it's about that little. Um, but you know what? Anyway, so if you do want to go back to some others, because let's be honest here, what doesn't this brilliant woman know about makeup? In my highlights, there is a little button that you tap on. <laughs> And it's got all, the, and it was when I did the, uh, we worked on a shoot together and Ruby did my makeup. She made me look amazing. And it's got all of it. And I was like, everything she used on me, I was like, I'm taking a picture. What's that? That's amazing. This it is incredible. Are, You're amazing. Are, and I saved all them all as a little kit, highlight. Yeah. All in my kit. And I love them. And I am so grateful to you that you did put them on there. So people go and have a look on that. Um, that is a shame. I'm going to now try and think what else. Maybe. Charlotte Gillis, bring it back. Maybe. Bring it back for Ruby. Maybe. How about t um, Trini Miracle Blur? Is it Miracle it's Blur? It's similar. Very similar. So basically what we're, In a talking about is we're talking about, the Clarins, I think it's called Lip Miracle. And it was this little sort of cream stick. Instant perfect, corrector, something perfecter, something like that. And it's the texture, it's not the colour. So it just literally filled in all these vertical lines and I put it all above and beyond and then you can put on whatever you want and it was like a blur. It, it was like... amazing. The closest I've ever found is the MAC Prep and Prime Lip, but that okay. is very slightly okay. drier, less hydrating. But if anybody out there knows, please tell us or tell us where we can find all of the discontinued Clarins one. I only know because I think, I think I think I was writing a feature. I think I might have been writing a feature for the Saturday Times, and I thought, oh, I'll put that amazing product in because it was so and then, incredible. And then it wasn't discontinued. Yeah. What a shame! What a shame! What a shame! Right. So I will put all of the details of all of the products down below. But also the key thing is Ruby's on her professional account. Go over and follow her on at I think it's just that Ruby Hammer, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, Ruby, the advantage of being Ruby Hammer. Ruby and Hammer and then there's Ruby Hammer Beauty. Beauty. There's but the advantage of being Ruby Hammer yeah. on the Dean Bag it is nobody has our names. There's only one of both of us. Um, <laughs> and she's absolutely, absolutely the best. Look, asking do you take supplements you do that i take all sorts of things but she asked me to give 10 things so i was like i couldn't sleep last i kept waking up going oh what do i do what do i eliminate what do i not so do you know what life is a flux we always add and you take away and then you bring back in and then i just lived up to what you gave me saying what is it you personally keep going back to and also these... can i just say if you go over and follow her at ruby hammer she does lots of lives. She does lots of tutorials. She <laughs> shares all the products. She's amazing. She Bless is you. genuinely the yeah. kindest, yeah. nicest, most talented human being within beauty. We adore her. Everybody loves you, Ruby Hammer. Bless you. And the feeling for you, darling, is mutual. So I'm so grateful you've had me. Thank you, all your wonderful viewers. And... And I will save this and I will list every single Fantastic. product, including all the sneaky extras. That, I will, I will that grab this, copy it, and ask my wonderful Liana to put it on my one too, so that I've got a record of this too. Okay, Thank all right. You. And love to Rena, because believe it or not, Ruby's about to become a grandmother. <laughs> so when I'm 60, I will be a grandma, which is unbelievable. And tell everybody what you're going to be called, because I love this. So in... <clears throat> In Bengali culture, we have, um, you know, you can, you, can, you can define your grandparents from which side they are. So because I'm the maternal grandma, I'm going to be known as Nani. Nani. Um, Nan. Oh. <laughs> Nani. So I'll be Nani. So Rina used to call my mum Nani. And you know what? I want to be Nani too. <laughs> I bet you can't wait. I can't wait. And I'm just mentally preparing like mad. When she do? December the 20th, God willing. Christmas present! Yes. Nani. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I will list all of the products down below. Thank you so much, Ruby. I adore you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome back anytime. God bless.
God bless. Take God care. Love, my Thank darling. Bye. So bye bye. Bye bye.